Klein. I'm coming for you. Not for any particular reason. But I'm coming for you. Yeah. One, one day, I'll be more overweight than you. And then you will have nothing. <laughs> First you take their weight, then you take their power. It's strange to me, like, I don't know if you watch the podcast, their podcast, but it's strange to me how normal it is to see him wearing makeup. Yeah. Like, it's strange to me how quickly I got used to that. Uh, I've just seen thumbnails. I haven't uh, caught up, uh, been keeping up with uh, H3 at all. Uh, and I'm still kind of amazed to see someone like Trisha uh, Paytas making content with them. She seems like someone you shouldn't be around. No. She really Especially is. given the fact that uh, the last time she was involved with the major uh, YouTube group, she kind of... I don't even really know because I, I don't even really follow uh, the blog squad, I think is who they are. Uh, but she seems to like cause a rift or like be a toxic kind of person. I don't know. Oh, you should have seen the ending to last week's uh, podcast of theirs. Uh-huh. Um... She stormed out. Really? Yeah, she got into a fight. Like she, she tried to uh, make Ethan feel bad because they have a podcast where it's just them two. She tried to make great idea. She tried to make him feel like she tried to like tear into him, and uh, she like stormed out. She was like so mad, and uh, and and Ethan was just like trying to be like, oh, well, like I'm sorry, I guess. <laughs> like I'm sorry, uh, but she wasn't having it, so she like stormed out. And everything. It's great uh, YouTube content. It makes for a great... I was about to say, it makes for great content. Great Juice, content. The juiciest of content. Squeeze entertainment out of your life. <laughs> People getting mad, getting actually upset and walking out. Oh, you're about to jump on this bomb. Oh, no. Okay, good catch. <laughs> Who needs a healthy relationship with your in-law? You know? That, yeah. When you could... Squeeze podcast views out of that. Yeah, baby. <laughs> no, she's not a good person to be around. Uh, but yeah, you know, last time we we filmed this, or when we filmed this, I said that bob bombs are um, a representation of people in your life that just explode over the smallest things. Mm -hmm. They're all Trisha Paytas. Oh my god. That's a call out, baby. <laughs> What was the vo uh, what was the voice we did for the character later? We should just try to impersonate Trisha Paytas now. Oh, I can't do that. She has such a like particular voice. I don't think I can. Uh, spoilers for the video. Like later on, the voice that we end up using for uh, our Bob Bomb buddy is uh, I'm not gonna say the actual name. I'll let that be a surprise. But um, is we use Sammy Classic Sonic fan. As the boys. We? Because I recall us debating on what which we could use and not deciding, and then you uh, settling on that. Yeah, I settled on that, actually. It was me. It's all me. You know, that was probably for the best, because it was better than floundering over who... Over what the voice should be. Which, we have a chance to correct that this time. Uh, with a better commentary, better being... Comparative. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're talking about someone else's podcast. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, uh, uh, how about that uh, Castle Silver Beast podcast, Ed? Uh, how, how do you feel about uh, Pat's, uh, Pat's pr uh, preferation of, Mario of 3D Mario games? With his two favorite being Galaxy 2 and 3D World. Uh, this man is not an intellectual. Uh, he's just posing as one. He has a degree. He has a master's in psychology that he doesn't remember getting. Ed. He's a phony and a fake. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, um, I mean, I, I think that's... <sighs> it's disappointing, but... Look, I'm gonna say this. Patrick Boyvain, I respect your opinion. Mario Galaxy 2 is pretty good. But we're also coming for you. We're gonna take your weight as well. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's 
looked like a seal. <laughs> <laughs> they call him like a baby sometimes and stuff like that. They're like, oh, he's waddling like a baby. We're gonna do it. We're gonna take all the hits so you don't have it. Uh, my thing about Mario Galaxy One that really like uh, or Galaxy Two. Uh, I'm sorry, not Galaxy One. Definitely not Galaxy One. Uh, the thing about Galaxy Two is that there were a lot of parts where I noticed, hey, this is the same planet to it from Galaxy One, but they changed the color of the grass and added in some new spiky objects here. You're a hundred percent right. Because I remember a specific part of that in uh, Sky Station, yeah. Sky Station Galaxy, and then there was parts like where they took the the Thwomp section out of Seaside Galaxy and made that its own galaxy. The galaxies in the uh, Gal in the Galaxy games are are, straight, are just levels. So like they made a whole level out of like a small section in Galaxy One, and they did that again with uh, the Mario. Uh, with the Mario section, uh, where they took the Mario, the 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 eight bit Mario section from Galaxy One, Toy Town Galaxy, mm -hmm. and made that its own galaxy, in Galaxy Two. Uh, and I understand like the, the nature of the game is is gonna reuse assets, but straight up level sections and call them their whole fully fledged levels was kind of disappointing to me. Yeah. Let me uh, say something about the gameplay here. Uh, we were talking about, I think when we played this the first time, we were talking about how there might be something at the top. Uh, but we were wrong. Yeah, I was disappointed in uh, thinking I wouldn't be able to go back. Uh, but yeah, luckily that wasn't the case. Uh, I'm going to stop for time because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have Goombario uh, snitch right here. Um, <laughs> He's coming up. He's getting ready. Uh, hurry it along, you fucking moron. Pick the character. You gotta, uh, no, but his turn is up now, so you have to wait till next turn. All right. Uh, oh, we're low on health. We're up on. Uh, that's fine. I like to live dangerously. Uh, actually, I said it before. I'll say it again. This, uh, let this game has been like a nail biter. We haven't died yet. Yeah. Well, yeah. We've been super close. Yeah, I like to have my Byleth in uh, three houses have uh, advantage. Oh, right. Your man. Yes. This is a paratrooper. No surprise here. Their parrot. Their paratrooper. Uh, paratroopers are Koopas with with wings. With wings. Rats with wings. Rats with wings. And then I said, remember that because we because I, I wanted to show you the South Park pandemic special after that. And we did see it. Oh. When you jump on them, or you use a power block, their wings fall off. Just like Icarus, they flew too close to the sun. And then, they become normal pair of Koopa Troopas. It's easy to beat them once they're back to normal. You give them another jump attack, and there you go. They can... think they think they're pretty cool when they wear their sunglasses, but they're not even that tough. Yep. Look at him, wearing sunglasses even though he's asleep. <laughs> In a way, yeah, we did see the South Park Pandemic special afterwards. Uh, it was fire. I I really needed it right now. Did you? And uh, it, it hit. Yeah. And uh, like all holiday specials, <laughs> the, the lock-in is now a holiday. Rick me. Like all holiday specials, uh, you just want to gather the kids around the, the grandparents and have the whole family enjoy it. Yeah, baby. Well, I mean, I guess we are off from school. We are kind of off from work. Yeah. So get, you know, gather your whole family, share a meal, pop some popcorn, uh, and enjoy some, some raw, some raw bat fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Hey, that's a Disney thing. That's a Disney thing. Oh, that's right. The f <laughs> Disney started that. Uh, uh, and and, uh, <laughs> and yeah, gather the kids around, but not too close. Always keep a six foot distance for I... the kids. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
who needs a healthy relationship with your in-law? You know? That, yeah. When you could squeeze podcast views out of that. 